Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, Gary here for Bizarre Brain Comics. This is where I like to take a look at some older comics and uh, talk about the characters and the creators and then examine the stories and the art. Okay. And today we want to talk about a favorite of mine. This is from 1964, Gold Key Comics. Edgar Rice Burroughs, Korok, the Son of Tarzan, number one. Let's see what the big book of knowledge has to say, shall we? Ah. Korok, Son of Tarzan, number one, 1964, Gold Key Comics. Mm -hmm. It's written by Gaylord Dubois and drawn by Russ Manning. And Korok, Korok is the ape name of John Jack Clayton III, He's heir to the Earl of Greystoke Tyre, the son of Tarzan, John Clayton II, and Jane Porter. And he was first introduced as a baby in the novel the Beasts of Tarzan. From what I gather, he actually had one small previous uh, mention in uh, uh, Burroughs' novel, which was uh, originally titled The Eternal Lover, and then changed to The Eternal Savage, and which the, the Claytons never used the name uh, uh, Tarzan, but, but the Clayton family were uh, very minor uh, secondary characters. It's mostly for for setting. Okay, and and uh, then he was kidnapped <laughs> as a baby in the Beasts of Tarzan. But he made he made his first major uh, uh, character appearance in in as Korok in the Son of Tarzan, in which he's. Uh, a boy lost in the jungle and raised to manhood by the ape Akut. And in the Tarzan uh, comics by Dell and Gold Key, this is of the four, uh, primarily of the forties and the fifties and into the early sixties when it became Gold Key. Some elements of the movies and books were combined such as Tarzan's son in the comics was called Boy, like he was in the movies. And he was just a small boy. And he was being raised by Tarzan and Jane in the jungle, living in a treehouse. Mm -hmm. He remained a small boy of about 10 or 11 years old in the comics through the 40s and 50s and into the 60s, even though in the, uh, the newly rebranded Gold Key comics started uh, turning to the, uh, closer to the novels. And suddenly in 1964, he was about 16 years old, adopted the name Korok, which is really Jack Clayton, and started having big adventures of his own with the ape Pakut. And the title ran from 64 to 72 at Gold Key, then until 75 at DC, when the, uh, Gold Key lost, lost the license and DC picked it up. And then the title was changed to Tarzan Family for a couple of years. Or a year or so, whatever. And he also made a few appearances, other appearances in some of the novels. And... Um, uh, in the, the Tarzan comic strip, he made uh, made several appearances. 
during during Russ Manning's tenure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, sounds like Tentor. Hope he's not going to charge us. So, let us go to the fantastical jungles of Edgar Rice Burroughs and have amazing adventures with Korok, son of Tarzan. Okay, and here we go with the Korok, son of Tarzan. Number one, you can see the cover, the better view of the cover right here. This is a nice painted cover. Um, not sure who did this. I think it was Galoob. I've forgotten his first name. Uh, he did the first several cover paintings for Korok. And then um, uh, it was take, pretty much taken over later by uh, George Wilson, who was doing the, a lot of the other... other uh, uh, Tarzan and a lot of the other adventure covers and here you can see on the back cover the cover painting reprinted as a pinup without all the, the type on it it's a real nice painting I did a real good job on doing those gorillas and they are gorillas to be sure to, uh, rather than Mangani with the, the great apes that uh, of Tarzan and yeah, it was just a, a year or so later when they stopped maybe two years later when they stopped um, doing this which was unfortunate and then having the, the regular uh, um, ads on the back cover like everybody else Okay, and of course, Korok, the son of Tarzan. And here is the novel that inspired it. This is, this is one of my favorite Tarzan novels. This, <clears throat> the original copy that I had, I read so many times that the book was falling apart. <laughs> it's a nice, nice cover there. And I was saying, hey, it was drawn by Russ Manning. And, um, they had some, some kind of you know, uh, conflicts. What they did is uh, they just had Boy grow up to be, be Korok, even though the story of Korok is, is much different. But it was just kind of like all of a sudden he grew up. Because here in this, because this was 1964. And this book was 1964. Uh, early 1964, so it actually would have hit the stands in 63. Uh, this is from January. And then just a little over a year before, in here's Tarzan, 132. And in this story here, this is of the, uh, this is the, the, mo the closest one I've got. Uh, to that that time that period and here he is boy as boy uh, only uh, he's appearing <laughs> about 10 or 11 years old and yet yeah it's a little rough and and yet here we see him right off the bat and he's obviously about 16 or so 16 maybe 17 Meanwhile, uh, just a month after uh, the Korok title debuted, in this issue of of Tarzan, they have a, back, a backup story. What they would often do, oh, backup story of Tarzan with Korok. And here he is uh, dressed and appearing much as he did in that in that comic, in his own, own title. And uh, to my knowledge, this, this is about the only time, last time, in uh, the gold key run is of, of the things that I have that this is the last time that uh, he appeared in the Tarzan title he may have done before and it is basically a Korok story but it's Korok with Tarzan uh, at the beginning 
and then uh, Tarzan has to go someplace and somebody needs uh, Tarzan's help so Cora goes to go go take care of it and then Tarzan appears again at the very end and then here's the backup story of uh, Brothers of the Spear drawn by Russ Manning which was done some time before uh, he started on the Korok run and the same goes in this one to backup story by Russ Manning now the uh, Tarzan uh, usually title usually had at this point in time one main story and and beforehand one main story and then a smaller a shorter story a Tarzan story sometimes it was and it was usually Tarzan with boy sometimes it was Jane and boy sometimes it was just a boy story um, often getting in trouble and having to having to uh, be saved by by Tarzan <laughs> or something of that nature the uh, and some of the uh, old stuff uh, carried through to the the newer uh, uh, Tarzan uh, Korok um, like uh, like in, in this one here his friend dealing with its boy and uh, um, their fr Tarzan's friend Chief Buto and uh, Often it was uh, a solo boy story. It was it was boy and his and his friend of about the same age, um, um, Dombi, who was the grandson of Muviro, uh, chief of the Waziri. But then uh, they stopped doing those. They had one main story, and then they would have a backup story, usually uh, uh, Brothers of the Spear, um, and then so later. Uh, I had Mabu in uh, in Korok, and which is the the jungle boy, um, a, little, a little orphaned native native boy and his dog uh, on various adventures, and uh, and another one for uh, for Tarzan. I can't think off the top of my head. And but they carried over Buto and uh, the uh, the uh, 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 giant. I don't think they're in this one. Giant genetically engineered eagles that were friends of, of Tarzan's, and they were often ride them uh, through the sky. Through the sky. Uh, and this even carried over after. See, in, in the mid '60s, '66, '67 or so, they started. Gold Key uh, started adapting the uh, uh, the Tarzan Tarzan novels Initi initially, of course, by Russ Manning, Tarzan of the Apes, and of course went on and did this one this here too, which is the son of Tarzan. By, drawn by Russ Manning, and in which it shows that he's raised by the ape Akut. It's like when they had his friend Pakut, they uh, adopted an, a similar name to Akut, just added a P to it, uh, to be similar to, but, but slightly distinctive from that, uh, that particular character. While he was living in the jungle, um, and even though they had they adapted the novel, um, they seemed to didn't seem to change continuity too much from the earlier continuity as far as Cork is concerned, because they still had Budo appearing once in a while and those eagles, which were um, which were uh, uh, specifically from the the comic book, the, the older Tarzan comic under Dell. Now let's take a look, start taking a little look in this story here. It little, often had these little informative things. Here's something about uh, the peoples of Africa. Sometimes it'd be about the natives. Sometimes it'd be about uh, African animals. Sometimes uh, it'd be about the uh, the language. And here it is Korok, son of Tarzan. And that's just the whole 
the, t the title of this story. And this is with Korok and, and Pakut goofing around. And, th and there's Tarzan and Jane. And this is Jane, like they, uh, like the, uh, uh, Jane of the TV series, uh, correction of the of the movies. Um, they lived in a treehouse, uh, and here she's mentioning that oh, Tarzan, our son has grown up too fast. It was only yesterday we called him boy. Now he only answers when I call him Korok. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's because the last time he did appear in the comics, he was just a little boy, and then Tarzan says. What's wrong with that, Jane? Korok is ape talk. So is Tarzan. Anyhow, Korok is as near as our ape friends can come to saying Jack, which is our son's given name. Of course, it's John, but they call him Jack. But it's not correct. He was given the name Korok, which means the killer. So he's Korok the killer in the ape language. So here they're gallivanting through the, through the jungle uh, Korok and Pakut playing around, and they see the ah, there's this balloon, loose a loose balloon, and this is let's go let's go check it out, and it's caught the tail uh, uh, the uh, uh, the line gets caught in the trees, and they manage to pull it down, and they take a peek inside the 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 uh, the basket, and then the, the lion comes loose. Oh, and they they take off on a ride, which is which is the main plot in a, a big little a Tarzan big little story, big little book, in which it was uh, Korok and Dombey <laughs> had that same thing. And then Tarzan had to go find him. Tarzan sees him going on, blowing away. Oh, they got to go see. So there, here they are. They go over over a lake, and and Pakut goes goes nuts. He's uh, uh, panicking, uh, opens the valve, accidentally opens the valve and releases uh, the hot air or the gas. So, that, well enough for them to get into the into the trees. Then they find a, a stockade, a palisade, and this is uh, it's like, oh, go go mangani, wallet sword, no good. It's the uh, village, and here they see the uh, cork gets in a tree and he's he's peering over the side and he sees in this native village this little white girl playing with a with a doll now this recreates a scene from the son of tarzan the novel and the comic adaptation in which he meets Miriam, who later becomes his wife but here this is just a different little girl it's the same basic setup uh he, he tries to be friends with the girl he's he's attacked by the natives and uh And is 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 captured. Meanwhile, Tarzan is still following, and he runs into Pakut. Pakut takes him to the Tarzan to the village, and which Cork is 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 being a prisoner. Cork gets uh, Tarzan gets in and saves him. To see this, pretty much could just be a boy story, so far. Until and but it until it gets wild they grab the girl because she's obviously captive because they and she the people were mistreating her she's obviously captive they free car grab the girl and they head out they, all, they raised a ruckus uh, the warriors are out after him so so it leaves leaves them so they're f trying to fight him off and protect the, protect the girl um Korok t uh, t and Pakut take the girl while Kor Tarzan holds them off. And then uh, Pakut gets the girl while Korok helps Tarzan. And then then they see the villagers. And, no, no, no. Uh, that's different. They're going through the jungle and they run across this French... Who's the French officer, I think? No, Englishman. And the girl recognizes as her dad, as her father. They were... They were out looking for her, and she is reunited with her father, and, and all is well. And that is the first Korok, Son of Tarzan story. And it is a lot like the earlier boy stories, except Korok part, uh, uh, assists in more of the fighting and stuff. But then after that, 
I'm not going to go too, uh, too far into it. Uh, uh, just a brief overview. The, se the secondary story is, again, Korok goofing around with Pakut. They're wrestling. And he tries to throw, because Tarzan has been teaching him some martial arts and stuff. But here you can see Jane gathering fruit and stuff, doing all, all the Jane stuff. And there's the treehouse in which they live. So this is more like the... Uh, the, the the movies and in, in a way it kind of um, uh, replicates what happened in the movies behind the scenes a little bit because the actor Johnny Sheffield started the playing boy and he was in several movies with with Johnny Weissmuller as Tarzan and uh, he until he his got into his uh, uh, mid to late teens uh, and they f the producer said he's getting too old play boy so they got rid of Johnny Sheffield playing boy and then they got a new kid who was who was again about 11 or 12 and then Johnny Sheffield went over and started uh, starring in another series of jungle movies of Bomba the Jungle Boy so this kind of parallels that in a way and I wonder if that might have been part of the influence, because uh, DC had just had, uh, at this time, had uh, uh, Bomba the Jungle Boy in, in comics. But in, anyway, something happens, uh, someone needs Sergeant's help, he's not here, Clark goes to help, uh, some bad people, uh, he's captured, uh, but Pakut follows, uh, yada yada yada, uh, the enslaving some natives, um, forced labor in um, in a, a gold mine, uh, Croc uh, tricks him, attacks, beat, beats the crap out of him, and it gets away. Uh, River goes th through the cliff wall into a little valley, which is inhabited by very territorial gorillas. And Croc is confronted. Now here you see he Croc using the same techniques that he did wrestling with Pakut earlier. And he defeats the gorilla. Can't buy with regular strength. Makes himself a, a weapon. Uh, hunts. He's standing there. Then the then the bad people uh, get through the, the cavern, and because they're still hunting for him. And then <laughs> they get in, and these territorial gorillas attack again. These guys, and they just pound them into dust. Literally, they are dead, dead, dead. Croc gets, gets the one guy said, go back. He, then he frees the slaves, the uh, the enslaved people, the forced labor people. And then Croc and Pakut take off. And this is more like a Tarzan adventure story. And it's solo. But some, now I want to talk a little bit about the art. Russ Manning has some great, great art. I'll go into more detail on Russ Manning. So the beautiful, another time, uh, beautiful, his beautiful art. He, the way he did the gorillas. Um, some beautiful depiction of the gorillas, and and if you notice, they are distinctly different from the fictitious uh, great apes of Tarzan by Edgar Rice Burroughs. And great artwork, uh, panel to panel storytelling, dynamism, uh, and now he, uh, Russ Manning, even though they don't get credit over the years, he had a, a lot of uh, assistants at various times working on it with him. Um, one of the most specific ones was uh, they would often uh, be doing some of or all of the inking, um, but they had to be able to ink to make it look like Russ Manning's inking. And Mike Royer was, was especially good at that. And he said, says, uh, some, he had to make it so that even he couldn't tell when they're going back or even he couldn't tell, uh, uh, the difference in the inking. So, and some of the various inkers uh, were of varying quality, but I guess Mike Royer was was really very good. So, so this is the end of Korok, son of Tarzan. Number one. I hope you enjoyed that. No Ungawas anywhere. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, 
And remember, comics are art.